Hello my soccer universe to a review of the Austrian Bundesliga the last round that got extended up until Tuesday evening because winter fell over Austria big time yes in Germany we had the Bayern against Union Berlin match cancelled uh, with the snow that came down from Friday to Saturday all Saturday games had to be cancelled. There was just no way that they would go ahead. Uh, the situation slightly improved on Sunday that it was manageable. However, honestly, and I speak here also from my own, own experience, the road conditions were still not great, uh, which also led to me that I only saw half of the last game. But uh, that's a whole different story. Let's just put it. Our car got stuck and we needed to wait to have it rescued because we live on the hill. It was very, very, very icy. But that's my personal story. Uh, we'll talk the Bundesliga. So basically, we had all the Saturday games have been postponed. The Sunday games then went ahead. Actually, the game in Salzburg could already be played on Sunday. Uh, we also had the funny story that Blau Wesslins called in the fans to clear the pitch because they knew that Sturm Graz is coming off a European night, that there's a virus going around. Same thing is true actually for Lusk. We'll talk about when we get to that game. So that they want to get the game to go ahead because they had a chance to uh, really play against Sturm Graz. And yes, they again got something out, out, out of it. And at this moment, beginning of the season, we thought the Blauers Linz is not fit for the Bundesliga at the, at the rate that they are currently are. They will very easily survive. Uh, and probably make even a really good finish as most of the promoted teams would have done. Um, so basically, uh, Sturmgratz dropping points, Lask well, draw, draw, dropping points, Salzburg got lucky points, but yeah, it extends a little bit on the top. But it's all at the moment about the top six where we have um, a total of four teams battling basically for two spots is the two Kärnten teams, Klagenfurt and Wolfsburg, who were in the advantage, and then two Vienna teams, Rapid and also seven are looking on the outside in. We also had a derby in there, so quite some stuff that we have to talk about. And let's look at the results. We have, first of all, blau as linz against Sturm Graz. As I said, blau as really wanted to have this game happening, and they deserved a point out of this one for sure. They even took the um, lead through Seidel right after they have Horvath gets an equalizer and then the game got a little bit ugly because uh, Serrano uh, with an absolutely disgusting foul takes out Ronnie Valdo who is now out as well he gets a red card there were also some uh, complaints from Sturm uh, for the blau weiss goal that the line was not drawn correctly and so on which was quickly debunked you know they, that these lines are drawn using the Hawkeye system blah 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 but you know typically Sturm Graz uh, coach it's uh, never afraid of uh, voicing his criticism but it's also not uh, understand because Sturm Graz have not been great in form you know just a month ago a little bit more than a month ago they had a four point lead and now they are two points behind Salzburg why are they two points behind yes they were level Salzburg get a win uh, through Oskar Kloch just before the half it was a lucky win everything about this win was lucky uh, because for Wolfsburg was really, really there and probably could, 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 could have gotten something out of it. What's even worse is that the goal, as nicely it was taken, uh, result from a throw-in where the player went way for... I mean, this was really affecting. The spot of the throw-in was not where the ball went, went out. And this is something that actually should be much more looked into. Lusk against Austin had to make, I think, five or six lineup changes to the game in Liverpool. And... I knew it will be a tough game when I heard that Horvath and Schul, um, two most creative players, are out because they're feeling sick. Horvath has already been, fe been feeling sick a week before and he played well in Liverpool. Uh, Schul is also the trainer, coaching staff uh, one here. They were not doing well, then there were some injuries to Ziers and, and so on. So it was kind of a second string squad, but I have to say I really like the front line. Once it got, got going, um, with Uso, Kone and Pinto, this is actually not so bad. Maybe not the creative spark that there is with Schul, but I think those, if they play a little bit on this, there's something, there's something in there. Austria Vienna had the first chance in that game. Uh, but the longer the game went, I thought that Lusk got, got, got under control, but it was only half chances created, unfortunately. It was a really, really cold game, and that did not help. Lusk fans were actually using some pyro to warm themselves, themselves up. 
Not sure how much this is. Second half, yes, I think Austria in the end had probably the slightly better chances and probably should, could have won this game, but I think Anil is very reflective and uh, we don't really need to talk much more about it. In effect, uh, yes, I spent the second half trying to rescue our car from, the, <laughs> from being stuck unsuccessfully and didn't see much off of the game, but the positive, I didn't miss much either. Then they said that the other games uh, that were played had to be then uh, moved on Monday. They played the Klagenfurt against Hart Hartberg, which ended a 1-1 draw, the only game that I didn't see much from, from it. Uh, Hartberg took the lead through a Bonatelli uh, own goal that then Binder equalized. So again, a little bit points drop for Klagenfurt and Hartberg kind of staying in. That doesn't really help. So the Kärnten team didn't have good results, but Austria also not which opened then the road for Rapid, but I want to leave Rapid for last because first we had the derby between Alltag and Lusna and after Lusna had a relatively good showing. Um, at Sturm Graz where they then ended up losing a little bit unlucky to 2-0. Uh, the hopes were high that they could actually uh, play well in the derby. It was a no-show for Lustena. It was all Alltag. It was all Alltag from the beginning to the end. Uh, Alltag dominated. Alltag created chances. It should have been more than the three goals they scored. I mean, it already early on, Guggenick made it 1-0. Uh, Guggenick actually had a second goal, but it was the, the, the self of also. But as soon as Gustavo Sanch uh, made it 2-0, uh, it was only one win. And then Bere uh, makes it even 3-0. It was also notable the game had to be uh, interrupted because the Lustner fans made such a pyro with so much smoke that it... Uh, the fireworkers had to come in and actually um, extinguish the fire because there was a serious danger. So not pretty scenes. Lustenau at this rate really look like the sure fire relegation candidate. I know we have seen some escapes from Feuerberg, namely Altach, uh, uh, last in the last years. But what Lustenau is showing at the moment is really, really, really bad and not fit for the Bundesliga. And I'm saying that... Let's wait for the last week. And then we had the game between Tirol and Rapid that, despite it being postponed and you know, being played in Innsbruck, a city that is very well ad uh, adapted to snow, I would claim uh, it being completely in the, in, in, in the mountains. The game went ahead, but um, I think Tirol didn't help itself by playing in all white. You had the white pitch, you had the orange balls out. Rapid at least played in uh, their red and blue jerseys, which kind of made a little bit of a contrast, but it was not an easy watch, to be honest. It was a game that probably was uh, kind of tightish in the first half, but in the second half it was all Rapid, and it was a miracle that Rapid only scored two goals through Seidel right after having Grulm. Grulm had a big sitter missing early, early on as well. And it was again the same story that they are just not converting their chances. And then you thought that it's going to go easy home win, uh, easy away win, they're going to play at home. And then Congola stands out for a rough tackle via VAR. Uh, I think it's in, what I hear, the second red card in three games. It's not good looking. Uh, and suddenly it got shaky again, especially since Mormon scored an own goal. And then Rapid really tried to push forward to get... Uh, Rapid. Tirol tried to push forward to get the equalizer, but um, Wattens didn't make it. I should say Wattens or VSG, uh, to be honest. So they could, they, they could make it again. I think in the first half they were there, in the second half it was all Rapid, so they would have deserved it. Uh, they deserved their, 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 their win, and I'm not sure that um, Tirol probably had a better showing in Linz than they had this time at home to Rapid. I'm a little bit confused talking right here at times, <laughs> which leads us now to the, to the standings. As I said, the top three, yeah, uh, not much moving except that Salzburg move ahead of Sturm, 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 Graz, Lask with a little bit of a distance, you know, um, also in touching distance with Hartberg. But, you know, since Lask, Hartberg, Klang, Klang, but there was no one uh, paper that picked up exactly the same points. It's Rapid that actually moved up. But you see now uh, Klang von Rapid a little bit the advantage over Wolfsburg and Austria Vienna uh, when it comes to the top six spots. And there are uh, still six rounds to be played. So that is going to be interesting for sure. On the bottom, uh, even with points half, Lustner only three points out of 16 games, it's real and minus 30. I think what uh, is also speaking in the top six race for Rapid is their superior goal difference. That I think might come into play as well, although head to head uh, is probably the, is the first uh, tiebreaker. So, but you know, it tells you that Rapid is actually not that bad, but they sometimes just don't get the results 
that they should get. Uh, at the moment, the expected standings is rapid to overtake Wolves. Wolves because so they go into the top, top, top six, but you see this kind of white blob. Hardback will most likely make it, I would say. And then the other four teams in their blue eyes just about will not. I think these uh, blue, blue eyes will kind of finish mid table in the lower half. And you see here, how it should pan, pan out with Austria Vienna just ahead of Wolfsburg and you know we had this two, two, two just na, uh, last week. Uh, the top three, yeah, pretty much as is and then Rapid behind. I think I can see that, although don't underestimate Hart, Hartberg, Hartberg have a low rating, but Hartberg playing an excellent, excellent season. And despite all the snow, we still have another round to be played this weekend. And given that weather is improving, I think we will not have much trouble. It starts on Saturday with a big one between Rapid and Salz. And Salz will also an emotional duel, but also one where Rapid may not pick up all the points, which again opens with an Austria duel where Klagenfurt could actually put themselves back in, in to play. Uh, Wolfsburg, though, have to go to Hartberg. That might not be an easy one either, but Klagenfurt against Austria Vienna, that's a head to head. That's a straight knocker tie, I would say. Last, we have to go to Lustena, where at the moment you would think three points, but with the injury and the virus situation, I'm not quite sure. It's also always a long trip, but it should be three points. That's the first uh, game that is not playing in Lustena, but in Bregenz. Blau Weiss against Tirol uh, could have been a big one, but um, at the moment, Blau Weiss is safe and Tirol, yeah, I think will just survive as well. Then we assume that Alder Sturm should pick up three points. So that's it for me from the Austrian Bundesliga. Uh, let me know what you thought about this, <laughs> this round. Very, very snowy snow around. I'm really lo looking forward. And it's crazy that after this round now, last still, uh, the European team still have, uh, have to play games. And then we start early February with the cup again. So it's basically January and half of December is a break. I'm not sure how many games will actually be played because snow is a real factor in Austria as we saw this round. But it may be a mild winter, believe it or not. In any case, give a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to my uh, channel if you want to see more and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!